How's everybody doing today? You're watching Slot Car Mayhem. I'm John, and today I've done some significant updates to the VIM3 single board computer. As you might recall from yesterday's video, I had connection issues where I had to keep toggling location services to get at the hook. I suggested then it appeared that I needed to replace the Android with another build, so I did that today. Updating the build is rather easy. You simply download the burner utility to your PC from the Kados site and install it. Then you download the build from the Kados site to your PC. Then you extract the zipped file. You then run the burner utility and you burn the unzipped image to a blank micro SD card. When done, you insert the card into the Vim3 and power it up. Once it boots up, you press and you hold the power button. You don't release it yet. Then a short press and release on the reset button, wait a couple more seconds, and then you release the power button. The screen will then show that it's doing its update. I was on Android build version V190907 and upgraded to V200103, which is currently the latest build. This build contains additional settings like pull down notification window and normal Bluetooth pairing and location services. I simply paired the CU to the VIM3 and enabled the location services, and guess what? Boom! It works. I have also installed Tasker as well as some Tasker plugins. My test profiles are working, and I have connections to my other devices as well as app accessibility services. In order to get Tasker to work correctly, I had to install the Android Accessibility Suite available for free in the Play Store. Once that was done, all was good. So let's take a look and see how everything's working right now. Okay, we're back here at the, uh, go ahead and turn the control unit off. We're back here at the track and everything's currently off right now. The TV's off, everything here's off, this is off here. This is not off off, this is just in sleep mode right now. That's the way it defaults to. So I'm gonna hit the power button real quick. Just gonna push that power button and it's going to start lighting up. I can see the light on there and I can see the red light blinking on the TV right now and it's loading right up and there it comes. Okay, there's the screen. So I can turn this on. It's going to light off the screen. If the TV's off, off, it will turn it off. If it's in another mode, like if I'm watching Chromecast, it'll switch it over just like normal, what you would expect to happen. Okay, let's go ahead and run the Smart Race. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to light off the control unit and I'm going to go ahead and launch my smart race. Now if you notice, these devices here just woke up and I'm connected. I've got my connection. It's that quick. It's that simple. And you can see I'm fully connected here right now. So I got to admit this uh, little single board computer here is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. At this point, what I'm going to be doing next, I'm going to start building my profiles to control things like the lighting and the weather, but I've got to get the Philips Hue stuff and the Google Home and all that installed on here. After that, I'll probably be doing that in the next few days, but just to give you an idea, yes, it's actually working. It's functioning just as I wanted to. Everything seems to be just fine. And uh, now if I go ahead, I'm not going to use the phrase, okie dokie, Mr. Google, but I'm just going to turn the TV off with the remote. And I don't know, no, you can't see it right now, but this thing went right back to sleep. So the TV will actually set this into sleep mode. So I got to tell you, I'm really impressed with this little unit right here. And by the time I've got three of these things set in with a couple touch screens, I'll have a system that is going to be just rock solid and work very well. So I'm getting really ex excited here about this. So. Okay, if you guys got any questions or comments, just hit me up and let me know. So far, I am going to call this as a uh, success at this point in time. Everything seems to be functioning right now exactly as I want. So I can't see anything that's going to break at this point. So I'm very happy with this little unit and I'm going to be putting in an order for a couple more. Okay, that's it. If you guys got anything, just hit me up. Any questions, comments, anything, I'm always here for you. And other than that, just thanks for everything, and you guys have a wonderful night, and we'll catch you soon.